Welcome, Cancers. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Cancers. This is the uh, Pisces season. I want to say thank you for your wonderful like, shares, and support. So, um, Cancers, this Pisces season, it's not a monthly reading. It is a season reading. We all go through the season. We have the Cancer season. We have the Pisces season. We have the Sagittarian season. It is a season reading. So you need to choose your crystal, okay? So um, after this reading, you need to look at the link below this video. You will see your four crystal. Choose crystal one, two, or three. Now, the first crystal is going to be crystal one, second crystal two. You know how it goes, okay? So normally, this is your first um uh, individual readings cancer so you got to pay attention you got to write down the uh sweet days that is going to be coming up for you we call them sweet days because it can be a week of just positive things coming up to you it is going to be an emotional week what i'm seeing for you pisces it's going to be a very as cancers my excuses it's going to be a very emotional time i see a lot of you or hoping for some sort of a new start. I see the energy um, where a lot of you um, cancers are hoping to reconnect and have some sort of a new start um, with friends. Okay, that is going to be uh, um, good for some people. And then we see um, this, uh, you men or having some sort of a problem issues that is going to be coming up and it has to do with your mom. Um, there's a lot of you... Uh, men could be having some sort of a um, issues where you cancers could be reconnecting um, with friends, but it's not working out for the men. Maybe for the women, it's okay, but for the men, it's not working out. Then we look at the energy of uh, the daughter of cups. So you older cancer ladies are definitely, definitely going to be having some sort of an issue. You older cancer ladies, ladies, uh, 50 years and older, Cancer ladies, 50 years and older, the week of, uh, and write this down, um, the week of uh, um, the 15th to the 20th of March, you're going to be having some sticky, sticky situation to deal with, so be aware. When we look at the energy of the fool, the energy of the fool in the first week has to do, and the first week begins from the 19th until the 28th. Again, the first week begins the 19th until the 28th. Write these down. Some of you could be having a new start with a job, um, so that is good. Um, some sort of a new start is going to be coming up for you guys. So look out, who is it going to be affected, okay? And where is this new start is going to be coming in? The energy of the fool is, you see, is as if it's a mega. It's saying that the universe is about to put you on a new part, okay? So it is a wonderful um, situation when the energy of the fool come out because it has to do with Uranus. And what is Uranus? Uranus is about group of people collaborating, okay? Uranus is about coming to the edge and you're letting go something and you're starting anew. So this is really powerful. It's really positive. It's really a good alignment of energy. It's about... Uh, um, spon um, spontaneous and it's about the innocent and spontaneousness so this is really wonderful and this is really good because some sort of a unexpected new endeavors is going to be happening all right it's about you opening up your wings and fly okay um, it's about um, starting that single step that is going to leave you in the, the present of just so unexpected unnatural powers and recognizing hey this is a major event for me this is a good start for me so this is it's like on um, you know spontaneousness is about excitement is about naivety and this is going to be absolutely wonderful and positive and a lot of people are going to be recognizing that it is time for you to use um this energy that you're receiving from spontaneous um issues um situation that is just going to be falling in their lap and you're going to be taking this and run with it okay then we recognize in the second week the week is from uh the first until the seventh of march you have the six of cups so 
the six of cups it is always um about uh, um and, and the energy of six it is always and recognize uh, when we have these energies what they mean okay so the energy of six it is always about you recognizing a situation that you were not seen before okay it's about pleasure six um of cups is about the sun in scorpio the six of cups is about the sun in scorpio so it's about people who you collaborate with your friends and that sort of a thing so this is going to be um really wonderful okay um and this is you know you know it's about the influence of uh, emotional feelings but it is going to be good and it in indicate pure joy so um the week of uh, the 1st of march until the 7th of march is going just going to be absolutely fabulous it is going to be good it is going to be wonderful um some sort of a wonderful alignment of energy is going to be coming up um then we're recognizing that some sort of a new start is going to some of you wanted some sort of a new start with a scorpion whoever the scorpion is this is a young scorpion between the ages of 18 and 50 some of you want a new new start with this person and it is going to be happening because they're going to be turning their backs to a cancer so let's say that um let's say that you um your your child your child have a stepmother or a godmother or something like that they're going to be turning their backs to that cancer woman and is going to want to have a new start um with with someone else maybe their biological mother um yeah maybe someone who they feel that is uh, you know my mom um so however this is transpiring i see that um a lot of you are going to be recognizing that your child or a scorpion man between the ages of 18 and 40 and, and 50 is going to be wanting to move towards you cancers um but it is um uh as relationship and as friends they're going to be wanting to move towards um someone else and um move away from you so cancers especially cancers who have kids that is a scorpion this person is going to turn their backs on you um and is going to be looking towards uh, um, their biological mother or their mother or so because this person um, kind of recognize uh, that you have something to do with the problem that they had come in and they're going to be turning their backs to you and it is a sad situation but we see this is coming up and sometimes it is better to you know take uh, um take the situation and deal with it all right i just saw this came up so let's look at the third week the third week a lot of you men between the ages of 18 and 45 is going to be finding yourself in some sort of an unconventional problem so young uh, men between the ages of 18 and 45 is going to be finding yourself uh, looking back at the past because there's something that you have done in the past that is coming back and hitting you in this scorpion season now scorpion season uh sorry pisces season is about uh, you know recognizing get out of the illusion okay pisces is about neptune all right so it is a season where neptune is the unseen neptune is uh, when we are trying to figure out our direction and our part in life and what I see is transpiring is that a lot of you men is going to be recognizing, damn, I did something that was not really right. Okay. It's as if you're going to be recognizing Jesus. You had some secrets that is all going to be coming out. So men, um, between the ages of 18 and 45, you have some, um, unconventional, um, problem that is coming up and, you know neptune is associated with some breakaway from some sort of an old pattern that some of you men needs to do because um some sort of information comes out about the past that is showing up you men 
about something that you are you have done in the past that is coming back in the future and your secrets is going to be out so men it is a serious serious case what has happened and transpiring and um, and, and this is really affecting the men or young people between the age of 18 and 45 because they recognize what you have done and how you have created some sort of a situation and now they're recognizing what you have done and that you were the one who have done that okay they're going to be recognizing that you can cement between the ages of 18 and 50 have treated a scorpion young man very very unfair they are going to be given the scorpion young man a new start but you not because they recognize that what you have done was on uh on unbelievable what you have done and they are going to be recognizing that you were behind the situation all of the time so i don't know what that is all about cancers um you can cement i've worked against a scorpion person and and and, and is, is, uh, work against or with a, a scorpion person and they're going to be recognizing this all your secrets are going to be coming out. They're going to be finding out what you have been doing. All right. Let's look at the fourth and last week. It is from the 15th until the 20th of uh, March. 15 until the 20th of March. We have water in water. It has to do with you ladies 50 years and older. And a lot of you ladies are having some sort of issues with your child. And whoever this child is, um, it's a sad situation, what has happened and transpired, but this child is basically turning their backs on you, uh, ladies, okay? Um, some of you ladies is going to be regretting something that you have done because apparently this child has recognized that you have created a whole lot of this issue. Um, this child is really recognizing that you ladies, um, 50 years and older has created some sort of an issue for them. A lot of you are dealing with a what, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion child. You need to heal this situation because this child is going to be turning their backs on you. And a lot of you mothers that have a child that is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion man between the age of 18 and 45 and 50, are going to be turning their backs to you because of something that you have done and it's going to be moving towards their friends and p alter alternative people because they recognize that you had something to do with an issue or a problem that they're in so it is a sad um, situation it's a sad problem it's a sad situation um whatever is happening and transpiring let me know because this is something that is coming up now for a lot of you it's going to be very emotional a lot of you are going to be trying to connect with your mom a lot of you are going to be recreating some sort of a timeline um you know with your mom however this is transpiring because i see a lot of you are going to be needing the help um of your mother in this timeline which is march um the 15th until the 20th of March. So some sort of an unconventional situation, some sort of a problem, some sort of an issue, something that have affect a lot of you is going to be, um, especially either some of you older people are thinking, Jesus, I should have had a child instead of I only think of my career. Um, that could be things that is going to be coming up and transpiring. Some of you could be having issues with your mom. Some of you could be rec recognizing that, you know, I really have to um, heal whatever issues and problems I'm having with my own mother because of what has transpired. I have uh, turned my son away or my son is turning away from me. So it is, uh, when we look at this, um, we're recognizing that a lot of you, um, women 50 years and uh, um, older is recognizing that you could have made some sort of a um, some sort of a situation uh, even worse and now you're recognizing Jesus I have to fix this situation because I actually created a worse situation for myself and I really have to take back my power and recognize what is happening and transpire because I've created some sort of an unconventional situation that is creating problems 
um, for uh, between my, my child and myself. So it is a period where you women 50 years and older, it's going to be a battling period. And we call it a battling period because you are recognizing that as an adult, whoever you are, you have made some decision what your parents have made with you, with your child also, and your child is going to be turning their backs on you. I got to go show your loves by thumbs up. Leave a message and let me know. Remember, use the link below to get your crystal. Choose one of the crystal, crystal one, two, three, or four. I will catch you in the next season. <laughs>